Hi, this is Melania Perdes Reviews, and I'm here to do a review of the Malayalam film King of Kota, starring Dulkar Salman. If you're new to Perdes Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Indian cinema. Bow down to the King of Kota! <laughs> Just come home from the first Malayalam showing of King of Kota. There was an early one that was Telugu, but you know, I wasn't going to go for a tub version. <laughs> so this is a debut director, uh, son of a famous director, Abhilash Joshi. And then the main antagonist uh, opposite Dulker through much of the film is Kananbai, who is, I, I literally looked him up in the middle of the movie. So it's Shabir Kalarakal. And he has such presence. Like you need, in a gangster mass movie, you need a good villain. And he was such a good villain. And then on top of that, you had, in flashback, you had Chemban Vanajos <laughs> as another villain. I am super excited about this film. I will admit, like, everyone who watches my channel knows I love rom-coms. I love Dolker and rom romantic comedies, romantic dramas. Okay, I am also admit that I love a good machete fight, and I am a little bit bloodthirsty. And I am not going to reveal what exactly Dolker kills people with, but it was common household objects. And... <laughs> was all about it like <laughs> I will just admit it people come at him with machetes and it was very um probably John Wick inspired let's just put it that way this is a debut director so there's certain there's certain flaws to the film for instance there's a I don't know it felt like it was maybe 10 minute um flashback scene trying to show you know, the, the structure of the film is there's a cop that's coming to town. Kananbai is the is the main kingpin gangster of the town, imaginary town of Kota. And, and then we hear from one of the junior police officers the story of how this guy rose to power and what the town was like before. And it turns out he was friends with Dolker's um, character, Raju. And... So it's like, it's kind of the opposite of RRR. Instead of like enemies who become best friends, it's best friends who become enemies. And oh, epic. We have Eshwarya as Tara, the love interest. And another flaw is that I felt like she was more there as a plot device than that her character really had any depth. But there was another female character named Manju who was continually full of surprises and badass. I can't say that this was a film that just completely ignored female characters. It's just that the main love interest, you know, there wasn't a lot of there there. Um, she was sort of a reason for Dulker to be go through some things let's just put it that way overall the I mean the action sequences were super fun although again I, it was sort of like some of it felt like we were in a video game like we were literally you know sort of that shooter perspective you know what I mean like you're the first person point of view and then I'm like okay we've reached the final boss <laughs> like you know, like in a video game. And it's like, no, that wasn't the final boss. There's yet another final boss battle. Okay. <laughs> so the length of this film is two hours and 45 minutes. Maybe could have been trimmed. Um, I would not give up the romance track because I adored it. Whether the soccer track, the football game needed to be as long as it was. While it was super fun, I'm sure to film. And they use drone shots, you're weaving in and out. Okay, like you got to kill your darlings a little bit when you're editing a film. And I felt like it didn't necessarily add that much more to show. The point was to show the friendship of these people in the past and this group of these group of men and their, you know, how how close they were. And then what happens? Yeah, but the fights, lots of slow-mo. I felt like Dulker for, I mean, 
he's had sort of hero entries, but literally like he had the big Dulker Salmon, you know, title card at the beginning. And then we had like the, the little glimpses of parts of his body, parts of his face, and then the full reveal, you know, like face and shadow, then you know, like the full big hero entry kind of thing. I was not with a crowd that was whistling, just me. <laughs> was yelling a little bit. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. I thought Dulker looked fantastic. Lots of slow-mo. Epic. Epic. So I came out with all the quibbles and negative things that I was saying. Let me talk about what was awesome. Dulker was awesome. He was legitimately scary. Now, that's something that his father can do so well. Can he do it quite as well as Mamuti? No, no one can. <laughs> okay. But he was legitimately scary. And the background score by Jake Spajoy, this was something really rare for me. Literally, I had half an hour to drive home. And I immediately put the soundtrack in because I wanted to hear it all over again. And that is something that's really rare, especially the People of Kota song. Oh, love that one. It just has this driving beat. Now, there's very lyrical uh, songs in the soundtrack, but, oh, you know, there's like, it goes from rapped and just the background score, how cinematic and how much it added to the drama of different scenes. Loved the music so much. Jake Spajoy, you have outdone yourself. Uh, this is uh, produced partially by uh, Dulker Salmon's Wayfarer, Wayfarer Studios, and obviously this is supposed to be a star vehicle. It's a, you know, it's being released in multiple languages. Um, in my town, um, I'm in Colorado right now, outside of Denver. It seemed like there were more, more showings in Telugu than in Malayalam, so that was interesting. I mean, we weren't. I wasn't even wasn't a sure thing that we were going to get it and I there was only going to be one day of showings on Sunday and then I think because the movie theaters heard the hype suddenly we were getting the Thursday night first day for show kind of um uh, showing so I was very excited I'm like okay I can't get to go opening night this is a mass film this is a gangster film this is familiar territory I'm not going to tell you that the plot is something that's so different than anything that we have seen before or super you know clever with tons of surprises like I said the Manju character loved her she maybe provided some of the surprises in the plot think things about her background and about her motivations but I don't care like I just enjoyed the ride of it and I definitely would think that this is a movie that would be better to experience in the theater and not wait for streaming I think this just is a movie I just really loved just the way the music was surrounding me and the opening, you know, credit scenes. I was like, oh man, I'm in for a ride. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. All right. Of course, Dulker looked amazing. Again, I'm not going to spoil what he was killing people with, but I was like, oh. And I just, I loved all of the retro clothing, the styling that they did on everybody, the hairdos, like, Dulker's hair was just about as wild and crazy as I've ever seen it. Like wild, crazy, curly, just they let it grow, grow long. And yeah, it was all about it. I talked to somebody who was walking out and, the, and I asked him if he liked it. And he said he was expecting more. And I was just kind of like, what more were you expecting? And I don't know if you were, the, the writing of the script, like I said, there weren't so many uh, Molly Ellum scripts you ex there's such a high standard that you expect. And I've been watching, you know, uh, some Telugu and Tamil uh, movies, re-watching some favorites uh, lately to talk about with Kathy of Cinemondo Podcast, for instance, the film Murchie. And I was like, and I, so I was just along for the ride. And maybe it's because I'm in that mode of I'm just sitting here. I'm ready for machete fights. I'm ready. I'm ready for the action. I'm ready for a good villain. I'm ready for this mano a mano stuff. And not so much like, oh, my gosh, is this the most creative script ever? Right. Or is this giving me something that I have never seen before? Instead, it felt like I'm being given 
Okay, I did not live through the era of classic Mamuti, classic Mohanlal action films, but I felt like it was hearkening back to what I have seen of those, you know, Spadicum or whatever. I'm, I'm not comparing this to being as great as Spadicum script, but I'm just saying that kind of, wow, I am here to see some epic fights, right? <laughs> like, so to see some ass kicking. So, yeah, I was all about it. <laughs> And, um, you know, I am just, we just uh, rewatched second show, Dulker's debut film, for, um, with Kathy a Cinemato Podcast and Amin of D54, and that was on um, his channel, and it was so interesting to rewatch that debut film, which I haven't, had not seen in a number of years. I've seen, I, th I think I've seen almost every one of Dulker's movie. There's that one about the village where people don't, I have silence. I can't remember. I haven't seen that one yet. But otherwise, I've seen almost every film. And it was really interesting going back to the beginning. A lot of what we see, his stardom, it was there in that gritty. But here he has all the trappings of, you know, the hero entrance, the big slow mo, the huge background score, the everything, right? Like to just like, this is a star. Um, which was not the way that second show was, right? It was small, it was gritty, it was very different feeling. But yet some of the elephants of Dulker's performance, again, he was playing a gang leader. Some of the same things um, carried through into his performance today in King of Kota. I really enjoyed the film. I urge you to see it in the theater. Let me know if you've had a chance to see it, what you thought about it, what was your favorite part. I'm not going to reveal what he is, but when, but when he is near the snack cart and he grabs something and ch -ch 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 <laughs> dispatches some people. Yeah, I was all about that. <laughs> all right. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter at PradesiYT. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, Blue Sky, at Pradesi Reviews. And if you hit the bell here when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer action or film review.